channel. Welcome to another vlog. We are doing a fun little daily vlog, um, but we are doing some fun things today. I wanted today to be like a doing all the things that I want to do for free, like all the fun, fun free things I could do. Um, however, um, I just have to do a lot of things at home. <laughs> So I'm like, it's turning into a, we're going to go do like a couple errands and then do stuff at home. So not really what I had originally intended on today to be, um, but that's fine. Nonetheless, it's still going to be a fun day. We're going to get to do a couple fun little running out errands um, just this morning and then I have to come home and then we have to prep and get ready because we are going to have company for the next like two weekends straight. Um, technically it's been three weekends straight because last weekend we had um, Austin's sister over. But anyways, we have for the next two weekends we have company over. So I need to prep the house, clean a little bit, get everybody's stuff ready. Um, but yeah, so today actually what we are doing first is I'm going to head out. It is, what time is it? It's quarter to eight right now. Um, I got up, had breakfast, and what we're going to do, I fed my sourdough starter. So I'm going to make some sourdough this weekend, which I'm really excited about because I haven't made sourdough in a while. So I'm going to bring you guys through that fun process. Um, and then, so I just fed him this morning and then I have to wait five hours until he's ready to bake with. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run out and do a couple errands before that. I also have to be home by 11 o'clock because Austin needs to take my car because he's going to the city today for a work meeting um, at 11. So I'm going to need to be home by that time, which shouldn't be an issue. Um, but I did want to get out early anyways because we live in like a pretty touristy area, I would say. Um, and we haven't really fully experienced the touristy things yet, but it is Canada Day long weekend. So I have a feeling it's going to get pretty busy here. So I wanted to get out on Friday early before everybody else needed to get out and do their things. Um, and then hopefully be home before the crowds and the rushes start happening. So Anyways, um, first things first, I want to quickly get ready. I did my hair like last night. I just had a shower and then put a little bit of like curl cream in it. Um, and I'm just going to leave it like this today. And then I'm going to do a little bit of natural makeup. And I'm very, very excited to mention that Merit is working with me again for this video. So this video portion of the video is sponsored by Merit. So thank you so much, Merit. Um, but I'm going to do a little bit of like a subtle makeup today. Nothing crazy. It's like a really nice day. It's not super hot out, but I just want to do something really simple. Um, so there's a couple products that they sent along my way that I want to showcase and share with you guys. And I'm so excited because I literally have been using Merit's products that they first sent me a few months ago when I worked with them. Truly every single time I wear makeup, it is the makeup that I gravitate towards. And I fully wholeheartedly without like feeling like I'm saying this for the sake of the video I genuinely could see myself switching over to solely using their products because everything I use by them I love so it's exactly what I like I like lightweight makeup I like pore pore free pore 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 clogging free I think that's how you say it <laughs> um makeup it's clean makeup it's just it's beautiful and I love it so much so let's go get ready I'm gonna go jump in the bathroom and do a little bit of makeup okay so first things first I'm just going to again I'm just gonna do a very light makeup situation today so first thing I'm going to go in with is my glowy super gel and star glow by say this is just like a base it kind of gives a little bit of a shimmer to my face um but I find it just like helps to thin out like foundation, especially when I put it on. But when I don't put foundation on, it just kind of gives everything like a once over, if that makes sense. Oh, I'm also now realizing I have blueberry in my teeth. <laughs> Let's get that out. So I'm not gonna put any foundation on today just because I'm not really feeling it. So I'm just gonna go in with my concealer. I use the Milk Makeup. Future Fluid Concealer. I really like this stuff again because it's super light. And I, it is my time of the month, so I have a fair amount of breakouts today. And I'm not really 
like this stuff doesn't really like cover them cover them but it does do a pretty good job at just like having a little bit of a layer over top of them this actually might be starting to be a little bit too light for my skin right now because it's the summer and I'm getting a little bit of a tan Okay, so now that that is my very simple base, uh, I'm going to go in with my first Merit product. So um, with every first purchase you get from Merit, you get one of their signature bags. And I love this bag. It's like the perfect size for just a simple makeup routine. It's really cute. It's like, anyways, it's free. Like it literally comes free with your first purchase. It's amazing. Um, so first thing I'm going to go in with is... Um, a blush and this blush I have been dying to try because I have friends who are literally swear by this blush this is the flush blush in Beverly Hills um, so it's just like a cream blush it's stunning and it's like the perfect shade like it's the exact shade that I would want so I feel like I'm just going to apply it directly onto my cheeks and my nose because I like doing blush on my nose and then I'm going to blend it out with a brush I love how white this goes on and you can build it up or keep it pretty muted <laughs> muted muted and it blends so so well like I'm obsessed and you literally don't feel it on your face at all Okay, I'm like a blush person, so I am gonna add a little bit more blush. <laughs> Stunning. Stunning. Okay, and now I'm gonna go in with my, where is it? I'm gonna go in with my bronzer stick. This is from Rare Beauty. Again, it's like a cream, cream bronzer. And I'm just gonna put a little bit And same thing, I'm going to use a, a brush to blend this out. I really like using my fingers to apply makeup because I find that it like makes it thin. Um, but I really do find that using a brush like on bronzer, blush, highlight really helps to like give it an airbrushed kind of look, you know? I don't know. I'm not a makeup guru, okay? This is just what I do. <laughs> okay, next up, I'm going to go in with my eyebrows. I use the Merit. This is the Merit Brow 1980. Um, they sent me along another one of these and this is literally the eyebrow product that I use essentially every day. Like, even when I do nothing to my makeup, I still will go in with this on my brows and I just love it so much. Like it literally, like look at the difference. I just love it. So easy to use and it's quite literally like the perfect color. This is just in the brown. Like they only have, I think three or four colors. But I feel like brows are such a universal kind of color you have. That's it, easy peasy. So I want to keep it pretty simple, so I'm just going to go in with my mascara. This, they did not send me this time. This is from my last time working with them, but this is their Lash Clean Mascara. This is honestly my favorite mascara ever. Um, normally I curl my lashes before I go in with mascara, but I'm just, again, because I just want to make this easy. I'm not going to curl them, but this mascara does such a good job. Stunning. Love, love my mascara. Um, okay, and then I'm going to just go right in with a lip product. So this is actually the reason that they wanted to work together because they wanted to showcase a new shade for one of their lipsticks. So this is the Signature Lip. It's a lightweight lipstick. This is what it looks like, first of all. Packaging is 10 out of 10 stunning. Um, but this is in the shade Ginger. So this is their newest shade. And it's just this beautiful, like, orangey brown. It's stunning. It looks so pretty on. This is a, exactly the shade that I would normally go for, so this is perfect. Mm. Love. 
love it so much so pretty such a simple color and it's like not a it's a nude but it's not like a natural lip color but it just looks so nice on um and i'm a gloss girl and they also sent along a gloss and i to be honest have been wearing this so much because i'm obsessed with it it's like the cutest little packaging and the color is stunning um this is the shade slick jelly i believe is how you pronounce it it's a tinted lip oil basically like a lip gloss kind of how i would describe it but it looks way brighter this is in the shade les deux les deux i don't know i'm not french <laughs> um but it looks way more pink but it's really like a very subtle pink but i love lip gloss so i like layering like this on its own it's basically just a very sheer pink you can barely even see it on my hand oh yeah you can kind of see it it's like a very sheer pink so it's not as like vibrant as you would think it is in this packaging so anyways that is the makeup that's it that's all i'm gonna do um i'm gonna put a little bit of deodorant on and then we're gonna head downstairs and head out because it is now 803 and it's gonna take me about 15 minutes to get to where i need to go and they open at 8 30 so perfect timing okay so basically ready to head out here i have my bag and I just need to grab my camera case <laughs> so that we can head out. So we are going to head to the library first because I actually need to pick up my library book for um, July's reading um, and it was available at the library. So I'm gonna go pick that up. I'm also gonna browse the library because I haven't actually been to our library yet because they just redid it. Um, so they, <laughs> they moved the library and um it's in a new facility and apparently it's like a lot bigger so i'm kind of excited to just browse around the library so that's my plan and then i also need to head to walmart which is basically in the same area um and i really want to look for either some beach chairs or a beach umbrella um because we've been wanting one for a while and now that heidi's coming up this weekend my dad is coming up next weekend i want to have some of that stuff just in case we go to the beach which we likely will so um, yeah, but thank you so much Merit for sponsoring today's video and I'm obsessed with their makeup Like I said, you can shop my link down below. It is an affiliate link So I do get a little bit of a kickback if you make any purchases through it um, But check the link out check out some of the stuff for yourself highly recommend highly 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 recommend But okay, let's head up. Okay quick little outfit check. So I have on some gold hoop earrings. I have my little a necklace on from Anna Luisa. Um, I have on just this like oversized, I forget what this is called. I think it's called like the pool cover up or something from Aerie. And then I have some um, black overalls from Aerie that I got like probably four years ago. Um, I have on a white tube top from Abercrombie and I have on my croc, I don't really know what these are called. They're like platform sandals. I love these. If you are looking for a good, cute, but comfortable shoe, these ones from Crocs. Don't knock them until you try them because they are amazing. So we're gonna head out and go to the library. Okay, well, this is not normally like me. <laughs> um, just got to the library and I was like a minute before, it goes like 8.29 and I was like, okay, I'll just sit here and wait till the library opens. And I'm kind of looking around in the parking lot and I'm like, hmm, it's kind of like not busy. And I was like, maybe I'll just double check what time it opens at. It opens at 10. So I'm now at this end of town. I don't want to go back home and then come back over here because it's like 15 minutes to get over here. So what I'm going to do, I guess now is go to Walmart and do that kind of stuff now, but it's not going to take me that long to go to Walmart so yeah I kind of screwed that one up but it's fine yeah we're gonna figure out what we're gonna do <laughs> okay little update so I am obviously home um what I ended up doing was I went to Walmart got the couple things I needed I needed like a couple groceries to get from there anyways I also wanted to look for that um like a chair or umbrella found neither um, but I got some groceries and I got Heidi a little present and a little card. Um, 
just because because I saw them and I had to get them for her um but anyway so I did that and then I just came home to drop that stuff off and now it is 9 30 so I'm going to jump back in the car and head over to the library um because I really want to be there like right when they open at 10 so that way I have like at least 30 minutes to browse do my thing and then I will come home so that Austin has the car and is ready to go um but yeah I'm about to get back in the car again and head to the library. from the library so when I got there the parking lot was full like full full and it was still like 10 minutes before they opened and I was like oh this is weird so anyways I go inside and the inside of because so our library is like attached to the rec center like it's like all in one building and the inside of like where the rec center was was full of kids and I said oh surely they're not all going to the library today no they were apparently it was first day of summer camp so <laughs> so I was like oh my gosh so there were so many kids that were like in there they weren't really like running around like the like shelves that like I was looking at but I was just a little overstimulated if I'm honest um and I was like yeah I'm not really interested um in like walking around and looking too intently I feel like I'm more of a I want to put books on hold and then go pick them up at the library versus like a, you know, scrolling through the library. So anyways, I only ended up picking two books. Book for the, li for, um, for the library. <laughs> book for book club is Big Swiss. Never realized how provocative the front of this cover is, but I should have guessed because of the content of this book. Um, but yeah, this is the pick for the month. This is about a sex therapist transcriptionist and her wild affair with one of the patients apparently it's crazy so I'm excited to read it um and then the other one I picked up was Endless Summer by Ellen Hildebrandt I read the hotel and the hotel Nantucket by her at the beginning of this year and I loved it I think I gave it four and a half stars like I thought it was so fun and like so entertaining so I figure this will be a good one to have because we're gonna have a bunch of beach days in the next couple weeks so I feel like it'll be nice to have um anyways okay so now that I am home I need to figure out what I am going to do um first so what needs to be done today First, I need to make the spare bedroom up for Heidi. That will be easy, so I'll just do that, get it out of the way. And then I need to put away our laundry. I also need to vacuum. And I need to clean the spare bathroom. And then I need to make sourdough. So that's on the list. It's really not too bad. So I think what I'm going to go do first, because I still have... So I, I started my sourdough starter at... I fed it at 7.30, so 7.30, 8.30, 9.30, 10.30, 30, 30, 30. It'll be ready around 12.30, 1.30 for me to start baking or to start like prepping my sourdough. So it's 10.30 now, so I have about two to three hours. So I'll do all my stuff upstairs first. I feel like I'll get all that done. And then I will come down here and do my baking. I think that's the plan. And then who knows, maybe I'll start reading. I don't really like, this is silly, but I don't really like starting to read um, the book club book until the month has started. I know it makes literally no difference, but I just don't like reading it super quick. So anyway, okay, let's, let's get my things done.
puppies in the corner. I just don't know where to put them. But we're all nice and made the bed. I need to smooth that out. <laughs> um, I'm just gonna close the blinds in here though because this room does get pretty warm if the blinds are open. Um, just because the sun like comes in here all day. So I'm gonna close these. And it is all ready for her for when she comes tomorrow. is I'm starving for one. So I'm gonna make myself a little bit of lunch. I just have like leftover salmon bowls from our um, like dinners the last couple nights. So I'm gonna heat that up for myself for lunch. And then once I am done having lunch, I'm gonna clean up the kitchen a bit. I just need to like put away the dishes that are out here. Um, and then I'm gonna make my bread. And then I realized that we kind of need a few more groceries than what I picked up at Walmart. And I wish I would have realized that before I went to Walmart, but I wasn't thinking. So I might have to run out to the grocery store again a little later, um, but I'm just gonna see. I'm gonna try and figure out what we can, you know, manage with what we have here. Um, but yeah, we're gonna see. We're gonna see what happens. But first off, I'm just gonna heat up some lunch, clean the kitchen, and then Start making my bread. sitting on the couch watching like a couple episodes of the crown what time is it even it's 2 20 so not too bad so i'm going to do some vacuuming now and clean the floors um like do like an actual mop of the floors and stuff because i haven't done an actual mop in a few weeks so we're gonna do that and then after that that's like basically it that i needed to do for cleaning and then i just need to do laundry but i can't do laundry until it is um later out anyway or like later anyways so that is the plan um but i'm gonna bring up this i have to like bring up all these towels and blankets and stuff to wash them um tonight and then i will bring down my vacuum and we'll clean the floors riveting <laughs>
for at least five hours. It is 326 right now. Um, so around eight o'clock, 830, it'll be ready for me to deal with. But I basically have until like 12 midnight to do, um, like to like separate it and put it in the fridge and everything. Um, so that'll be good. I'll do it like just right before I go to bed. Um, but now I'm going to head upstairs because I need to film my monthly reset slash mid-year reset. Um, so I'm going to go upstairs and film that in our bedroom. Um, I was just, while I was waiting for that to be ready for me to do my last little stretch and fold, um, I was writing down all my stuff. So I'm going to go upstairs and do that now. And then once that is done, I'm basically done all the things that need to get done today. Um, I just need to like do laundry, like I said, but again, can't do that until later. So I will do that then. And what else? I want to edit today as well. Like probably my weekly vlog and then possibly um this vlog but I'm not sure yet well sorry not this vlog my the one I'm about to film the monthly reset but anyways okay let's get all my stuff I'm gonna film on my big camera today get my memory card okay you don't need to watch me scramble to get all my things together so I'm gonna get this and get everything ready to film. All right, it has been a little while. I just finished filming my video that took me about an hour to film. So editing is gonna suck <laughs> because I'm gonna need to do a lot of editing, but that is fine. Um, just opening my windows because it's nice and breezy out. So we're going to have the windows open and get some nice fresh air in here. Um, but I'm just now going to head downstairs and start getting my footage all together and probably start editing my weekly vlog so that that is done. Um, and then also probably watch, I don't know, maybe I'll just keep the crown on and watch that. Um, Austin is on his way home now from his little event so he should be home probably in like 30 minutes to an hour ish i don't really know because it is the long weekend so there probably is going to be traffic from the city um so he's going to be a little bit later but yeah anyways that is what's going on i'm gonna sit i honestly want to have a nap i'm so tired I always feel so tired after filming sit down videos because I just talk so much and I just feel so winded after and I'm just like, I exerted so much energy. I am tired now. <laughs> okay, just got back from the grocery store. It's a while later. It's seven o'clock now. It's quite a while later. Um, but we went to the grocery store to get the things that we needed for the weekend slash this week. This actually, first of all, we couldn't believe all this groceries was under $100, slightly under, but it was under 100, which we were very surprised by. But anyways, um, we got a melon, some grapes, bananas, cauliflower, uh, some wraps. We got two different salad kits, just a Caesar salad and then broccoli. This one looks yummy, I wanna try it. Got some celery, some asparagus. I got beans for, I'm gonna make cow cowboy caviar um for like lunches next week some parmesan cheese some rice vinegar some peppers cilantro um some strawberries and cherry tomatoes and blueberries and regular tomatoes we got a watermelon and i'm praying that this is good it's always a risk getting the first watermelon of the season because you never know if it's going to be good or not but this one felt good so hopefully um, we got some of these classic sugar cookies, and then Austin got some Swedish berries and some cherry blasters, and that's everything. So I'm gonna put this all away, and then I don't know if it's if it's not gonna rain. I kind of want to go play pickleball, but if it is gonna rain, then I'm probably just kinda going to have to go onto the bike because I haven't done a workout yet today. So. That is the plan, but first I need to put my things away. Thank you, my Please.
right, it is 11 o'clock and we are headed to bed. We just spent the last couple hours watching the first, what did we watch the first two episodes? Yeah. We watched the first two episodes of the Dallas Cowboys Cheerleaders show on Netflix. Pretty interesting so far. So we just watched those and now we are about to get into bed and we are going to watch Harry Potter. We we watch Harry Potter so often. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I was just about to say that we haven't watched it in a while, but it is time for the rewatch. So I'm going to take my makeup off, get ready for bed, and then that is what we are going to be doing. So I'm going to end the vlog off here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Once again, thank you to Merit for sponsoring today's video and sending me along some goodies to show you guys. Um, again, I'll have everything linked down below for you to go check them out. And yeah, thank you so much again. And thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoy this little day in the life. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.